Do you remember when Arnie said this? Screw your freedom, because with freedom comes obligations and, uh, and, and responsibilities. Mm. That was disappointing for me. I used to look up to Arnie when I was younger. When he said that, that was a bit disappointing. What I didn't expect back then was that I'd be sitting here in 2024 and I'd be reading a thread entitled Arnold Schwarzenegger was killed and replaced in 1990. Terminator 2 is all about how Arnold was replaced by a reprogrammed double. So we're going to take a look at this thread and the evidence that they've presented. And I want to get your opinions on all of that. This guy has posted a whole bunch of these comparison images. And he is, I assume it's a he, who knows. This person is putting forward the idea that this person and this person are different. So uh, this person and this person are different. This person and this person. And then there's like another dozen or 15 of these images. So we'll take a look at all of that in a moment. Before we do, just sort of let you know in case you're not already aware, there is a podcast waiting for you. It's about two or three hours long. And we look at this topic of how do these so-called coincidences happen? For example, how is it that in a film that was released on the same day as the World Trade Center bombings, in it, there is a scene where the main character is accusing a shop owner of being Chinese, and he's holding a bat right in front of a corona sign. You know, bat, corona. Some guy ate a bat in China. This film released on the same day as the World Trade Center bombings. These kinds of things, if you just look at them in isolation, you can say, oh, it's just a coincidence, blah, blah, blah. But what if there's dozens of or hundreds of these so-called coincidences. At what point do you start to think maybe there's a different explanation? Well, myself and eight or nine or ten interlocutors spoke about that and so much more in this episode, which just happens to be on 911 downloads or streams so far, which is way more than most of these JLB Chats episodes. This is the most popular episode of JLB Chats, certainly this, this year, possibly ever, actually. Normally they get like 300, 400, Maybe 500 if you're lucky. This one has almost 1,000. In fact, it has a 911, as you can see. So if you haven't already checked that one out, I do recommend it. The feedback so far has been phenomenal. And I'll put a link to that in the comments section below. So this is a thread that was posted on Conspiracy No Pulse subreddit earlier today by somebody called Kiwasabi. And they say, The deeper I go down the rabbit hole, the worse it all gets. But I'm searching for that light at the end of the tunnel. Recently, I've been doing some deep diving into celebrities and politicians who have been killed and replaced by imposters or body doubles. For some reason, I started wanting to examine Terminator 2 and compare Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator 1 to Terminator 2. I just had this sinking feeling that Arnold may have been replaced. I suppose deep down I knew that something was wrong with Arnold ever since he said, screw your freedom in regards to the vaccine mandates and COVID lockdowns. Now, they end up posting a very detailed thing here. And so that it's not just someone with a one or two line attempt at attention. They seem to, it almost seems that they actually believe this. Maybe they do, I don't know. And so they've taken the time to put together all of these comparison images. So for those of you watching this around the world here at the John the Bond YouTube channel, taking a look at this, do you think these two people look different? Because my answer is no. They look the same. To me, this is the same person. How about these two people? Are they different people? To me, they look the same. That looks like the same person in both images. Then we look at this one. This, to me, looks like the same person. Different hairstyles, obviously. And, and the photos are different. One's color, one's black and white. The lighting and the shading is different. But in terms of who is the person, this, to me, looks like the same person. How about this? The side profile. Are these different people? The person who posted this thread on the Conspiracy No Pulse subreddit is suggesting that this guy's jaw is less prominent. It's a weaker... Sorry, the, the chin, I should say. It's a weaker chin than this one here. But to me, they look the same. To me, they look the same. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Then we've got these two. Let's zoom in. No, they look the same to me. They look the same, I don't get it. How about these two? They look the same to me. What am I missing here? They've both got sort of like a, a somewhat 
frowny, natural state with their lips. Noses look the same. Earlobes look the same. In this image, the eyes look brown, whereas here they look green, but that could just be a, something to do with the photography or who knows what. So the only difference I see is the eye colour between these two. How about these two? Too hard to tell the eye colour. Can't tell there, obviously. Mm, yeah, no, maybe if you wanted to say the eye colours look different, I can at least see that. But that's, that, like I said, there are explanations for that. So anyway, so that's, I'm just showing you six, I think, different comparisons. There's another, it could be another dozen that are in that thread. So I'll link to that in the comment section below. And I recommend you go and check it out if you're interested in these kinds of topics. Or maybe you're watching this thinking, JLB, this is another one of those stupid theories that a lot of conspiracy people like to indulge in and propagate. And their evidence is spurious at best. And you shouldn't even be giving these people your attention. I'm not saying that I necessarily disagree with that assessment. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I said, links also in the comment section below to the Sync Missed episode of JLB Chats. 911 downloads slash streams so far. Very popular. Terrific feedback from everybody who's left comments about it on the website so far. The feedback has been terrific. Hello there, John. This is Donald J. Trump. I just wanted to let you know your content here on JohnLeBond.com is just absolutely tremendous. Really, I gotta say, my wife Melania and I have been consuming hours and hours of it. We just love it. We can't get enough of it, frankly. 